Happy Wild Game Wednesday, everybody, and thank you for joining Jen and I on YouTube and Twitch. What's the plan for today? We got people waiting. They're so excited about the Wild Game Wednesday. As you can see, we had a chilly Wednesday here in Minnesota. What was it, negative 20 degrees? Well, that might be a little exaggerated. Maybe a little bit, but we had somebody from our stream the other day who was from Barcelona, and you know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't know. There's no such thing as the internet. There's no possible way right. you could research right. the accurate temperature. Uh, but no, it's been a little chilly. We've had a cold yes. swing come in, yet we are still outside, outdoor cooking. That's right. And Jen loves that. She loves being cold. Is that not one of your favorite things in the world? As long as I'm bundled up. As long as she's bundled up. And next to you. Oh, gosh. Now you're going <laughs> to get us that NC-17 rating. <laughs> Kansas City Jen's a little feisty on Wild Game Wednesday. The little inner animal is coming out. So the plan for today, we are going to be cooking some stuffed peppers. This is something that's very easy to do, yet highly impressive if you have guests or a barbecue party. But what makes it wild, besides some wild vegetables and things like that, is we are actually going to be cooking antelope today. Mm-hmm antelope i'm excited not native to the midwest mm -hmm. from the rocky mountains uh also known as the pronghorn oh i didn't know that yes uh also known as stupid deer where i come oh, from oh that's not a very nice name well when you see them oh they sometimes run into things and stuff they're kind of like uh kids with add a little bit oh. they're the spastic of the deer family but we're going to be doing antelope stuffed peppers yes. with wild everything's going to be i'm going to say everything <laughs> wild rice and wild rice is actually native to minnesota here That's where right. we live uh wild rice is not actually rice fun fact did you know that i bet you did because we eat a fair actually amount did. of it yeah, I did yeah. Know that. so what is it um i actually See, I'm call call different types it's i'm calling you on your bluff wild rice in its native form is actually a grass it's, a, it's actually not a seed, it is a grass. Oh. And it's harvested, uh, and it was very popular here with uh, the original settlers to America, the Native Americans. And that's where uh, wild rice actually uh, got its orig origination from, is Native American people. And there's still uh, tribes today in Minnesota, as I'm sure there is Wisconsin and surrounding areas in the North Country here, that still cultivate it and harvest it. Hmm. The more you know. That's where I need that graphic to jump in with the star. Only old people uh, will know what I'm talking about there. But uh, YouTube, the more you know. Not right now. Right now you should be Googling, what's an antelope? I'll give you a second. That's an antelope. Uh, typically run in herds. I can remember ever since I was a little kid living in Montana that uh, used to see just groups of like 30 to 50 of them running across the prairie and they will bound like like rabbits but in deer form mm -hmm. uh over fences and things without blinking an eye and it's one of the coolest experiences that i actually uh remember from being uh, a kid is seeing these because there's 30 of them it's not just like oh there goes one bung 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 you know mm -hmm. there's this and they're fast they're the, mm -hmm. one of the fastest animals uh in our country that there is uh as far as you know that that genus and species is concerned so super cool so rice does take a time to cook so we better get that Let's started get because we don't want this to turn into an 18 hour stream no but eight hours we could probably no, because do because i'm gonna be hungry i'm gonna want to eat you're always hungry that is a theme with our stream so when we're cooking rice not just wild rice but also regular rice i always recommend using a chicken based broth why flavor flavor yeah. see you yeah. got you got this hashtag I know that. I yeah do a lot of i know but that's my whole deal is flavor it's way better than using water yeah don't use water water no. is for boring rice right and you could use different liquids too i've used um you could use beef broth you could use actually different types of recipes you could use um tomato juice but not with wild rice probably. not probably with probably. wild rice but i'm but... just saying you can use different liquids yeah all right, so we're going to get our broth started to heat up here. Pan is on. Uh, let's add just a tablespoon of butter in there. Butter makes everything better. 
Yeah. I'm gonna. Are you actually gonna measure the tablespoon or just? No. Bite it off. I'm just gonna bite it off and spit it in the pan, because <laughs> that just shows the ultimate healthy way to do things. Right, right. And I'm actually going to use... Where's your knife? I've got all my oh, knives. What you... kind of knives do we use, Kansas City, Jen? <laughs> well, Gunter Wilhelm, of course. Of course. Only the best will do for Montana Max in Kansas they City, are Jen. They really sharp. I had to get used to them. Yeah, but aren't you happy now that you know how to cut with sharp knives? Well, yeah, because I... Butter goes I realized in. the difference between a dull... <laughs> and it's actually sharp way more dangerous, kids of all ages, to be using a dull knife. You are more prone to injury, and if you receive an injury when you cut yourself, it's gonna be an ugly injury. It's gonna be nasty, mm -hmm. and we don't want that. Of course, the third member of our show on screen here, and uh, forgive me for not introducing her sooner, the beast, that is our, that is what she's named in my Traeger oh, app, is our Traeger Ironwood 885, which we're gonna be cooking on. Gratuitous Traeger shot! Awesome. Uh, so love the 885, perfect for all season cooking. That's why I use it. Uh, but the beast is fired up. The beast is heated up, burning those pellets. So this is going to be a really great show. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everyone for joining us. Make sure if you get a chance, I'm going to pop over here. Not that one. We're going to go to that one. Make sure you follow us on our social media sites. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, MySpace. Everything. Everything. We're taking back MySpace. Montana Max Technology. I don't think MySpace. We're not taking back MySpace. And of course, as you'll see below us, these are all partners and sponsors that we work with. Make sure you check them out as well. If you jump into our About section, there's links to all those as well as ways to serve, uh, save yourself some money with some sweet discounts. Are you ready for rice, yes. babe? Yes. Yes. Let's put it in. It needs to go. So. Would you say it's time for rice, rice, time. baby? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> Word to your mothers. <laughs> and you can know, you know actually how cold it is out here because I, I've donned my toque. You know that's what they call these ha uh, hats in Canada? Toques? Toque. toque. Yeah, put We're your toque on, eh? It's cold out there. We're not too far from Canada. We're not. We're just going to make sure that we get all the rice evenly distributed there. And let's get a lid on it. If you like it, then you should have put a lid on it. I'm Beyonce. You think you are. Well, you know, <laughs> all the single ladies. Am I right? Am I right, Twitch Nation? Gosh. <laughs> all right. Now, let's get some prep work done here while our rice is starting to cook, because we do have some time. It's going to take about 45 minutes. On one of our first episodes, my mom commented that she didn't like all the prep. Well, today you're getting prep, mom, because we got time. And I don't pre-make rice. That's lame. No. You're supposed to be enjoying no. the outdoors. We actually are getting a little uh, sunset. The clouds are breaking. It was kind of a gloomy day all the way around, but we're actually looks like we're going to have a really nice evening here. Mm -hmm. So that is exciting. We're using a yellow onion here. Look at me juggle. I'm watching myself juggle. He can't even keep up with me. <laughs> We're super excited, uh, by the way, too, if you saw my sweet moves there. Very much like Patrick Mahomes. Chiefs Nation, tomorrow Ooh. night, NFL hey. season kicks off. If we get our ducks in a row, we might actually pop on tomorrow night for just a quick one. But well, we don't want to miss the game. We're not going to miss the game. We are the game. We're not going to miss the game. <laughs> we'll see it. We love football. He, need, he needs a coat. Tech, tech, guy, tech, tech guy is cold. getting cold. Yes. All right, so we're just going to dice up an onion here. Super easy, using my Gunter Wilhelm chef knife. Gosh, I really do love these knives and how easy it makes your prep work. That's another thing you'll notice. If you have inferior knives or you're using dull knives, you'll find that your prep work is way more laborious. That's a pretty big word for a Montana boy. It is. But... There you go. It's exciting you learned that word. I know. There's a lot of words I don't know that I kind of make up along the way. Don't I? Yeah. Like what? Oh, What's some gosh. of your favorites? <laughs> some of the favorite words that you've made up? Yeah. Oh, gosh, there's so many. Motated? Yes, that would be a, not a word. That is a word where I come from. Get yourself motated. It's so not a word. 
Well, people understand what it means, so therefore I think it qualifies. Oh, and our rice is bubbling. We should probably turn that heat down yeah, a little bit. So. Go ahead. Because we want that rice to simmer. Mm -hmm. Simmer now. Simmer now. As always, we're coming from Montana Max National Park, located in beautiful Hastings, Minnesota. I think I'm going to stir it a little bit to make sure it's not sticking Here. right off the bat. Hand you that spoon. Go ahead. You don't want your rice stick into the container because what will happen? It will burn and it'll be crusty and you will have a bad experience. Not sticking at all. Good. That butter helps. Good. And since we're cooking a little bit more rustic, you don't have to be super finicky about your onion dices. They can be varying shapes and sizes because it's rustic. All right onion is good to go. What should we do now? Let's just keep chopping. I mean, you got to chop them all. You got to prep them. Is veggies. this Pokemon? Keep chopping. Keep you got to chop them all. Got to chop them all. Chop, chop. Ha <laughs> ha. Pokemon. Or I can do it. I got it. He likes using his knives. He doesn't share very often. <laughs> That's fine. That is totally fine. I got a Facebook message on my watch. I bet it's, I bet you anything, it's spam. Do you want to grow your following on Instagram? Pay us money and we'll do it for you. Yeah. Illegally. At least sometimes now they're catching it and saying spam. Right. You know. That is true. They are. All right. Chopping up some mushrooms. Once again, we're going for a rustic feel here. Rustic is awesome because it's a great excuse for everything not to be perfectly the same size. Also, if you're cooking in a wild environment, I mean, right here we're at the Grand Lodge, of course, in Montana Max National Park. So we have some amenities that <laughs> yeah. we wouldn't if we were off the grid. But, you know, if you're cooking over a campfire or you're out off the grid somewhere, everything's not going to be perfect. And that's okay. We're worried about flavor. It's still going to look cool. Mm. You make everything look pretty. Oh, stop now. Flattery will get you everywhere, dear. Let's do one more mushroom. No, but you're always spot on on flavor, regardless of how it looks. Oh, gosh. It's not like I paid you to say that or anything. You're just not seeing my facial expressions after you say those things. <laughs> I'll watch it back. <laughs> no, you won't. He doesn't watch his stuff. All right. <laughs> so, mushrooms, done. Slide them on over. All right. Time for some maters. Maters is the technical Montana term for tomater. And we got some nice romas here. Romas are awesome. Get rid of those. Yep, we don't want that. No. For, for uh, flavor and texture. They're going to be a little bit firmer. You're not going to run a bunch of... Uh, tomato juice all over your cutting board or anything.
No, they don't hear us. They hear us now. Can you hear us again, guys? We should have sound back now, hopefully. My dad was quick on the mark there. He said he lost sound. The battery's dying. I'm going to replace them right now. Just bear with us for a second. Or Parker, our tech man here, is going to flip the batteries out in the receiver. It'll be just a momentary lapse. If you'd like, I can mouth words when he does this, and it'll be like a kung fu movie that you get to interact with at home. You switching? We're back? Right. We got audio? We're back. That works. I hit a bunch of Stream Deck buttons, so if that just goes crazy in a second, that was totally me. Uh, no. I had Stream Lock on. Oh. I was not allowed to hit the Stream buttons. Well, it locks whenever I lose an audio source. Oh. In case we don't mess up. If you're watching, if you can hear us, good. If not, let us know in the chat. And don't be afraid to jump in the chat. We love interacting with people. That's part of the fun of cooking is the interaction. Or if you just want to sit there and giggle at Jen and I, that's fine too. Go ahead and check the rice again. Go ahead. I'll let you pop in there. It's doing good. Good. That color. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Just about done, and then we're going to move on to our our pronghorn, our antelope. I was thinking of seasoning some of the rice now that we're cooking it, even though we've got it in the broth. Yeah. We're adding some special What would you like to add, Jen, to our rice? Some special shit. You would like to add some what? Special shit. I love this stuff. It's really good. One of Jen's favorite seasonings. <laughs> What's up? Uh-oh. I got gotcha. you. really quiet. I'm too... Oh, I don't need to be that loud. Yeah, you do because people got to hear you, babe. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Okay. There we go. That'll help. Gonna... All right, go ahead and season that up with a little bit of special shit. That just adds really nice flavor. Go ahead and mix it around there. Thank you again if you're joining us on your Wednesday evening. Hopefully you're not stuck inside for all the day it was kind of nasty where we're at but if you're here with us thank you so much for being here with us hopefully you got your special someone with you and some special shit to season with all right so that's good for prepping right now for those let's move on to the antelope round all right need a bowl i got it in the pan there do you want to use it just in the pan yeah because i'm actually uh i in the beast here, the old girl's working away, I actually have a cast iron pan inside there, and I'm going to season in the cast iron pan when I pull it out of the packaging. I need one more glove here. Always careful to not cross-contaminate, kids. All right, and we're going to use this here. Let's get a little bam. You'll see right here, as I navigate the camera. Right there. Antelope. Now, you'll see the color difference varies quite a bit from uh, what you typically see with beef. Also, the fat content. You see how lean this meat is? There's very little fat. You'll see a bunch of fleck in there. Flip the package over. But it's very lean, so you want to be careful uh, not to overcook this. It will dry out very, 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 very quick. Mm. And then it gets tough and it loses its luster. That's uh, the reason a lot of people, you'll hear them say, I, I don't like wild game. I don't, I don't like it. I don't eat it. And I don't like it because of the texture and the consistency. A lot of the reason is how it's prepared. It can come off as mm -hmm. tough and dry and things like that if you don't know how to prepare it pop properly. You can't just throw it and go and go, oh, well, let's hope everything comes out. It's not as forgiving as, uh, say, beef would be. All right. 
drop that down there in the their bus tub. And we're going to pull out our antelope burger. Put it right in the pan. Well, that really has a nice color. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So we're beefy off and looking for that really nice uh, bright red. You will see a very nice uh, dark, almost maroon. Mahogany. Mahogany, maroon, mm -hmm. that type of color. Mm-hmm. That's nice. It is nice. Awesome texture. So we'll just take this, put it down there, head over to the beast here. Can you take that glove off for me and then sure, hand sure, me sure, one sure, of my sure. hot gloves? Because the cast iron pan's been in the smoker. And if you grab it, you will have a permanent brand of your favorite cast iron pan. All right. So where can people get antelope if they don't hunt or don't have a store? You better have a friend that hunts because you cannot purchase antelope in the store. This antelope came by way of my father uh, and one of his friends is an excellent hunter and uh, begged me this antelope. Kevin, hopefully Kevin, I know Kevin's not a tech guy, but maybe my dad can show him how to get on YouTube. But big props to Kevin for fulfilling this? this antelope. This was for yeah. the rice. And thanks for my dad for transporting said antelope. It was funny yes. when they came out, huh? Yes. When they came out this year to visit earlier this year, uh, the only thing in his freezer was wild game for me. You also uh, hear people that hunt and things like that. Wild game from different regions of the country actually contain different flavor profiles. Did you know that? I figured because it was a different country. That's correct. It is based on their diet and the climates and the lives that they live in those and what they eat. All right. As usual, let's season. Now what? should I season antelope with? If only there was a rub that was great for all meats. That would be the perfect thing for antelope. That's your cue. That would be the all meat rub. Oh, we just happen to have some all meat rub by Croy Valley. Perfect for all meats. Of course. Including antelope. Yes. Or cantaloupe. A rarer breed of antelope <laughs> that is much more fruity, maybe from warmer climates. Yeah, I'm not sure. So let's get this seasoned up here. I do use uh, all meat rub with wild game a lot. It just works really well with the flavors of whether we're doing elk or buffalo, bison, uh, Pheasant, birds, I mm -hmm. mean, there's a reason it's called all meat. It'll work across the board. All right. That pan is hot. Do not touch that yeah. pan. We should zoom in on the Traeger here. We will. We're getting a little light adjustment here. Oh, sure. All right. So while well, that's going to cook down, that's another great reason to cook it on cast iron on the Traeger here. Uh, I can tip it up for you, too. Boom! Antelope. Cook it on the Traeger. Uh, is because you can set your temperature wherever you want it versus charcoal, which you can regulate your temperature. It just takes more of a watchful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. uh, less can go wrong. Mm -hmm. So, we should throw in some delicious rustic vegetables. That's what I was going to say. We're going to do that now or we're going to wait a bit? We're going to do it now. Let it all cook together because all these are going to get stuffed into our peppers, which you see up here. So, we want all those flavors to kind of like get to know each other. You know, like, hey, tomato, you come here often? My name's Onion. Perhaps we'd like to spend a little time together. <laughs> Marinate. Oh, my gosh. Food love. Yes. Once again, we're going back to that NC-17 rating. Yes, and he's completely sober. 
This is just him normally. This Wednesday. I'm just saying. <laughs> Next Wednesday, maybe not. See, this is great because they'll never really know what kind of state I am in unless you get to know well. me. Wait, two <laughs> in on Wednesdays, Fridays. For Fridays is our Friday night barbecue party where we just do a kind of crazy whatever food hits us. And then, of course, this Sunday, we are going to be doing Sunday smoke down, and we're going to be going football edition because the NFL season's kicking off. We did our first one, which was a baseball type of uh, mm. menu, if you will, because the Royals are playing. Rough year for the Royals. Baseball season's almost over. Yes. So now we're focusing on KC, Chiefs, Mahomes. They're going to take it to the Texans, and oh, yeah. I am going to laugh and enjoy and hopefully not eat those words that are now indelibly marked across the internet. <laughs> All right. Let's add here. Do you want to add these and I'll pull the pan? Actually, yeah. check it out. Look at that. Yeah, Sliding bottom shelf. I got it. We'll just pick them up with my neck. Hey, let's start with the onions and get those sweating down. And we'll add our mushrooms. Turned out to be pretty nice out here. Yeah, it is. It's quite the lovely evening. Considering the day we had, yeah. it was kind of nasty all day. Yeah, it's not raining or anything on it. So. No, but I think it's supposed to uh, get wet and stay wet the next couple days as well. All right. Let's mix all those up together. You want to hand me that uh, all meat seasoning one more time? Since we added more things, season everything, so we are going to add some more seasoning here. Oh, oh it smells so good. Look at my breath. <laughs> Such a little kid. A little kid who loves to make excellent food for his lovely. So I wonder if anyone out there watches the show alone. I don't know. We did, we're catching up on Alone. We love that show uh, with the outdoor nature and everything. But we actually watched a guy take a moose the other day. That was mm -hmm. exciting. Oh, yeah. Get everything stirred up. Do you want to check that rice for me? Looks like we're still bubbling away there. Maybe give it a little stir like I you. I just did not oh. long ago. It's okay. good. Well, if it's good, you say it's, it's good, good, then it's good. I'm watching. It's good. This is looking good. Get this back in. I'm gonna use two gloves here. Okay. No. Oh, these. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Be a little heavy for the tray. Let's pop that up top. There we go. There. Awesome. Awesome possum, which we're not cooking. And we'll never cook. Don't say never. Never. I said never to possum. Ugh. Might be a post-apocalyptic world one day and you might have to eat no. a possum. Mm -mm. Did you know that they announced today, speaking of post-apocalyptic, uh, we're also big fans of The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Did you see that they announced that next season is the last season? No. The Walking Dead is ending. Oh, uh, what? Yes. That's Season 11 is going to be the end of The Walking Dead. Here's the good news is yeah. it's going to be 22 episodes long, so they're going to spread oh, the last wow. season out over two years. Wow. And then they already announced a spinoff, actually two spinoffs, but the one that you'll most take to uh, is Daryl and Carol oh. are going to get their own series, their own spinoff that's separate from The Walking oh, Dead. Oh, wow. Whether that's after the events or how that's going to play out, I don't know mm -hmm. yet. Uh, but I think it bodes pretty well for them surviving. That's good. Yeah. Yes. You like it when people live. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> in the television world, you need to clarify. Oh. Somebody just popped in and they're all like, that guy likes when people die. That guy is a horrible person. You can't do that on live Twitch. 
<laughs> well, I guess you just did, but. All right. I picked these for you. Just kidding. This parsley. Yes. We're going to put that up there. Parsley's coming a little bit later. The beast over here is working, doing her thing. Let's get some preppers. Pre pre I just combined. Preppers? Pre yes. Oh, that's ap apocalyptic talk. <laughs> it turned into preppers. Preppers, peppers. Let's prep our peppers. I really don't want these mushrooms to go to waste. No, I really want gonna... them to go into there. You want them to go in with the yeah, rice? Yeah, I do. So is that okay? Go ahead, cut them I up wouldn't. with the carry there. I just do not like wasting at all. So you'll notice here, uh, hang on, before you start cutting, let's get both these knives in that screenshot. The one I'm holding here is a chef's knife. Classic. And what Jen is holding, if you want to hold that out, there we go, is a Nakiri knife. Now that is designed for top chopping vegetables. You'll also see there on the blade there are dimples. That is a gratin edge. And the reason that those are on there is so your vegetables don't stick to your blade when you're using it. Mm -hmm. That they come off easily and don't get suction to it. Both excellent knives. Uh, chef's knife will work for everything. But I really do love that knife. And we talked a little bit last time how, how easy it is to pick things up with it too. And I'm going to hop over here if you want to take out the wide shot here. And up a little bit. It's pepper time. So we have two types of pepper. Red pepper, green pepper, whatever kind of pepper. Who's a pepper? I'm a pepper. You're a pepper. He's a pepper. She's That's a pepper. That's Dr. Pepper. All right. So we're going to tip this guy on its side. Take our chef knife. Of course, I have talked about this before. Pinch grip to give you control over your blade. Don't do this sort of thing. I saw somebody the other day doing this with uh, a bony knife, and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I had nine one and one on the phone and just waiting to hit send. I'm like, this poor girl's gonna cut her fingers off. Uh, grab your knife, and we're just gonna cut around and take the top off. Nice and easy, all the way around. Look at that. And then there's Jen's elbow. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right in the middle of the gratuitous oh, pepper shot. Oh, geez Louise. I know. I'll just freeze frame. There we go. Go ahead and throw your mushrooms in, and then I'll start again. Or continue, as it were. I just think mushrooms are delicious mushrooms in are wild delicious. rice. A lot of people don't like fungi. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> hey oh, That dad joke was for free. The next one's going to cost you. And the rice right. is actually coming along really nicely there. Yeah, it is. Still a little liquid, still doing its magic. It takes the time because, like I said, wild rice is actually a grass. It's, it's it takes a little while to get that cooked. All right, pop that lid on there and let me finish my pepper on the big screen. There we go. It'll be one more second here. And there goes the lid in Jen's elbow. Hello, Jen's elbow. I need a paper towel. Balls. Where are they? Uh, they are on the counter uh, inside the Great Lodge. Yeah. Go ahead and grab them. You're I fine. I am going to. I'm going to also grab some plates. And plates. She insists on eating plates. This is Wild Game Wednesday. All right, and then you'll see here, look at that. You just go around the edge, and that core with all those seeds just pops out. Lovely. Then we're inside, minimal work to do here. You can take a knife. This knife's a little big, so what I'm actually going to do is you're going to remove these membranes. I'm just going to go in there, since it is Wild Game Wednesday, not uh, French Chef Pastry Friday. I'm going to go in and just remove those membranes as best as you can. And then Olivia? I'm going to tap out some seeds what are you there. Doing? So we're going to have a nice. What are you doing? And I'll walk it on over right there. You need to do nice, all clean the trash and recycling. So I you would can do actually that take now, out so you don't have to do it later. We're going to be eating. And we'll it would be nice if you one. came out. It's not even that much longer till we're going to eat. What? There we go. Huh? And I'll show you later what we'll do with that. We'll just hang on to that guy. And then let's run through the rest of our peppers here. Oh, mushrooms. They say fall is the best time for planting, and we've been doing some planting uh, around the lodge here. But uh, maybe we're we get lucky, it, uh, and I'm hitting uh, the ground nice with all these pebble seeds. We'll have a bunch of pebble plants. Anybody in the chat right now that's in the room, I will give you a bonus point, nice and I'll actually out. send you a Montana Max magnet and sticker if you can guess 
what my favorite pepper is. I've never said this. I don't say it to many people. But if you can guess, I will give you a Montana Max again. sticker and magnet. Perfect for your fridge, your vehicle, gonna work. your workplace, really wherever Montana Max is needed. It can actually be motivational for you. You need a little of that Western en energy in your life. All right. And I know my parents are watching because my dad texted me. Mother, are you bored with prep yet? Don't worry, we're almost done. This is running against it. It's like damn cold up there. Huh? Parker, you know what you, would be great? Is if you could actually pop into, I don't know if it's connected or not, if I can. That still might come If you could pop in on your phone and see if we have anybody so chatting right on there. Then. Right now, our YouTube, YouTube's kind of finicky with connecting with the chat, so we're going to have our tech guy, Parker, here. Uh, click on over to YouTube and see if we're missing anybody. If we are, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. We love you greatly. And I'm sen sending the man over right now to see if we got any action in YouTube land. All right, we didn't miss anybody. I don't feel bad then. I would have kind of felt bad. Quite a crowd in there, quite a crowd. Really big, really big shoe. Straight across here with the blade. That's all right. Once again, you'll see below us, these are all partners and sponsors that we work with through the competition world that when we do competitive cooking, whether Why it be KCBS, SCA, Culinary Fight Club, <laughs> excuse me, World Food Championship. to work. All great partners that oh. work with us and support us and support just had to our brand and we're down. proud to support them. And that includes Gunter Wilhelm, Con Coolers, The Beard Struggle, Croy Valley Food, Double O Drum Co., and of course my girl over here, the Beast Traeger. And we got just two more peppers to go here. A chat shoot shoot. And we are gonna have our peppers ready for stuffing. Hey dear. Yes. That's fine. Uh, can you grab me a water? I've got a little fr frog in my throat here that I'm kind of choking. That oh. would be really lovely. Sure, of I can do that, right? Now. Thank you very much, dear. Mm -hmm. Can I set this stuff down? Yeah, here, just hand it to me. There we go. And all that background noise you hear is Jen's mic still on, so while she's rummer rummaging around through the cabinets in the Great Lodge, no worries, nothing's wrong. It's not a poor audio connection. It's just Jen doing Jen things, which is great because otherwise we wouldn't have plates or uh, paper towels. All right, last pepper. Then I got to check my antelope over here. Last pepper. If you're just joining us, and yes, you heard me correctly, I did say antelope. It's Wild Game Wednesday, and we're making antelope stuffed peppers with wild rice and a litany of wild vegetables, like mushrooms, for example. They're a wild vegetable. Wild rice, of course, grown native here in the Northland country. Tomatoes aren't super wild, but they're kind of wild. Uh, there we go. And my gloves here. Let's check that antelope. There it is, water. Ugh, delicious. You come through here. But of course. Jen's back. I had to get this. I'm glowing now because I'm warm. You are glowing. Yeah. The battery was charging. People don't know what you're talking about. I had to charge my vest. See it flashing? And why do you charge your vest? To 
keep me warm because we live in Minnesota. But what does your vest do? What makes oh, it special? Oh, well, because it's a special vest and it heat, it's Don't a Don't tell me, tell vest. them right there. Hi, world. Jen. <laughs> Jen, world. What yes. makes your vest special there, sweetie? It's a hot vest. It's heated from the inside and keeps me toasty warm. Super awesome. Yes. Now I can stay out here all night and not shiver. Do you want to take a smell here, dear? It smells really good. It does smell really good. I think it needs some special shit. You think everything needs some special shit? Throw a little special shit in That's there, dear. True. Go ahead. I like it. Bring those sweet buns over here with your special shit. All right. Add a little more seasoning, one of Jen's favorites. Yeah, there's like a whole line of these. I don't think we've tried the other ones. We've tried a couple of them. What, like, what's some of the other names? Um, bullshit, aw shit, I don't know what else, but it's really it's good. It's a bunch of shit. Yeah, it's it's a bunch of different types of shit. It's really good though. From Big Cock Ranch. <laughs> Where is that from? That's what it says I, on I didn't the hear you thing, though. see? Just saying. She's like, I'm not swearing. It's what I read. I would never swear no. on camera. All right, antelope's about ready to go here. I got her peppers all done. This just has a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Not much. No, I know. Not a problem. Are you jealous because you don't have a vest like mine? No, I'm not. I have an internal vest like yours that never turns off regardless of season. <laughs> it's called fatness. Stop <laughs> it. Ah, hydration. Cooking some awesome food on our first Wild Game Wednesday. Like I said, tune in every Wednesday as we'll be doing this along the way with different fun, exciting recipes. Oh, one of the things I was going to tell everybody... What if you don't have antelope? What could you substitute for your stuffed peppers? Beer. Is that it then? No, not wild game. Oh. For people that don't have antelope. Right. Oh, I, fresh out of antelope, I'm going to go get this deer. Well, There's lots of people that don't get, have access to well, wild most game. People, a lot of people can't have access to deer, though. Not in all parts of the world. You have to Maybe think not. Not global audience here. Or there's, a, you know, if we have somebody that's joining us from downtown New York City, we could, yeah, not you could gonna do have ground access. Chicken, you ground could chicken, do ground, ground turkey, ground pork, pork, whatever. Beef, mm -hmm. any will be great when you mix it in. Just remember, season, 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 whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If you're a vegetarian, which you're probably not, if you're still watching our channel at this point, uh, you can make vegetarian ones. I wouldn't recommend it because flavor, hey, it's just protein. You're like, I'm so weak. I need protein. Hand me that jaw of peanut butter. <laughs> Don't put peanut butter in your peppers. All right. We got to be like ready to go here any second on that. Peppers are good to go. And I'm actually, I think I'm just going to put the rice in the pan with all the goodies. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take from the pan and stuff the peppers. Awesome. Does that sound like a good yes, idea? Yes, it does. To you? Sounds like a great idea. All right. So, let's do that. I think it's good to go. Did you try a little bit? You got there's a no. fork right here for testing. Yes. I'm not sure if it's 100%. Let's check. Well, let's guess. check. We'll know here in one second. Depending on barometric pressure, elevation, all those sort of things. Your cooking time can vary. Even though it says 45 minutes, or I tell you, cook it for an hour, might not be an hour. It might be 50 minutes. It might be an hour and 10 minutes. Or if you're really hungry, you shorten the time. Just a little. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's done? Okay. Yeah. Well, wild rice has a different consistency than yeah. your standard rice. You're welcome to try it. And if you want to let it go for another another bit. few minutes here, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. But I think it's pretty close to where it needs to be. Yeah. The flavor's excellent. See, she's already like, mm, it's maybe, getting close, but I maybe another longer. minute, another two minutes. Mm -hmm. You realize it's going to cook in the peppers too, though. 
You're not putting all that in there, though. Yeah, you don't have room. all of it in no. one pepper. Mm. That's what the recipe is. You one, have a lot. One antelope that? stuffed pepper. You it's put a in bit. one full antelope, one entire bag of rice. That's it. Mm -mm. Put that under the pepper. It's not under. I know. I was joking. All right, almost ready to go here. This is gonna be super hot, babe, so. Mm -hmm. This looks awesome. I'm actually gonna pull this out with both my gloves and walk up to the camera here to get a better, better lit picture. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna basically come right where you're standing there, dear. Okay. So they can get a view. Sorry. You'll see down there in the corner. Smells awesome. Looks awesome. We got some big chunks to break up. That's all right. They'll break up as we take them out. Big chunks, not a big deal. And I don't know where my thingy is. It hung straight here. What are you here. looking for? Oh. Yeah, super tender and ready to go. Uh, now it's looking like it's getting close. See? You good? Yeah, because now, right. the, now the water's all absorbed. See, and it's like you can see it. You can tell. She can tell. Yes, you can tell. She is a rice savant. That is just beautiful now. All right. I'm going to move my peppers up here, put down a hot pad so we can bring the cast iron out. Well, it's almost half the minute all the way up. Yeah, because we are now going to start doing this. All right, let's do it. That's what I'm saying. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Placing those in a foil pan here. Yep. So maybe we'll move this. You can move it or wipe it. Yeah, just give her a quick wipe off. It's all vegetable stuff, so I mean. Yeah, just let me get this out of the way. All right. Rice is done. Antelope is done with our tomatoes, onions mushrooms, all that awesome stuff. And we're gonna mix them both together here. If you try to mix things separately, it will become quite the tedious job. And we are hungry, are we not? Yes. Because Jen is always hungry. hungry. Aren't you, babe? Are you putting it all in there? You forgot to leave something. No, I didn't forget to leave something. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Just relax. Okay. Who, who's the plate master? You are. That's your line. You missed your line. You. We're gonna mix it up real good. Antelope just hopped out of the pan. You want to give that a quick spray with some olive oil, yeah. dear? It's blending in there. I'm so hungry, I could almost eat this right. just right out of the pan. Can you go ahead and put them in here? Yep, go hold? ahead. Go ahead. That'll be just fine. Just fine. Oh, they're slippery. Slippery buggers. There we go. What does that say? Like a bullet. I can't remember where that was from. I should have been more attentive to the chat. I'm sorry. All right. All right. You ready, babe? We are ready. Let's Bend do over. This. <laughs> <laughs> Adult humor. All right. Now we're just going to take all of our goodies here in our pan and spoon them nicely. 
right into the peppers. Fill them up, fill them up. I do prefer the peppers cut that direction with the tops off than, than the other direction. Oh, like doing them horizontal? Yeah, that yeah you have, have to be crazy to do that. Who would do that? A lot of people do it what? that way. Yes. Not around these parts that don't. If they know what's good for them, speaking of bullets, sideways pepper cutters, get out. Then you can put a pretty top on the top. I was holding that surprise for later while you were gone. I was oh. like, and then we're saving these tops, and I'll show you why later. Oh. oh. Thanks for ruining oh. the surprise. <laughs> You're fun to have at parties. Spoke too soon. It's all right. Oops. I have a feeling they probably had a pretty good idea what was coming with them. They probably were key to what was going down. For a lot of people, this isn't going to be their first stuffed pepper, but maybe it is. Can't forget the mozzarella. I'm not going to forget the mozzarella. Why don't you ruin all the surprises while you're here? <laughs> I'm hungry. You're hungry. I'll tell you. All right. It is. Does anybody know what time it is? It's about it's time to eat. It's almost 8 o'clock. And if you stop ruining the surprises and sidetracking the show on me, you might actually get to eat something. Will you hand me the mozzarella cheese, please? Yeah. And then to finish things off, much like butter, cheese. Cheese makes everything better, does it not? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to cover these guys up with some cheese. I said this in an earlier episode. Uh, cheese takes on smoke flavor really easily because it does contain a high percentage of fat. Fat is like a sponge when it comes to cheese and soaks up that flavor. This winter, we will be doing a whole cheese episode where we actually go through the process of smoking cheese on different devices and stuff like that and have some fun different cheese-based activities like the cheese toss, cheese curling, the cheese put, the cheese kiss. All right, now I'm stretching. Let's get these guys... Onto the smoker here. Don't spill. He wants to really bad. I got I a tippy pepper. There get, we go. Got yeah. the right angle on him. Sometimes you got to put a little English on your peppers. English is old man term for angle. If you want him to sit properly. You know what? Just so this stays nice and warm for when we serve this, I'm going to throw... Some foil? Huh? No, foil. You're going to put it back in there. I'm going to put it just right on the top rack there because it's not nearly as hot right now. I am not going to melt the spoon, however, because that would get me into trouble. And Lord knows I've had enough of that for one week. All right. You've had enough of that in your life. Never. Yeah. Lost one of my gloves on the other side. That's all right. Now, we're going to do... One of my most favorite old-timey man garnishes in the world, and that is parsley. Parsley cam coming at you. Wait, it doesn't work when you can actually see me sitting on top. There we go. Parsley cam. <laughs> this parsley cam brought to you by Con Coolers. No, they're not. That didn't work. It's all right. Back to Gunter Wilhelm with my Nakiri here. We're actually going to not use so much of the stem. You can eat the stem of parsley. Some people don't like it. I don't mind it. I don't like it. One of my uh, favorite memories, though, is going to Perkins when I was a little kid. And uh, there would always be a sprig of parsley on the plate. And I always thought that was the coolest thing for some reason. And that's probably why parsley has stuck with me the way it does. That's a weird memory. Well... I'm kind of a weird dude. You are. Look at my hat and my beard. Brought to you by the Beard Struggle. Would you like a Mountain Max beard? <laughs> well, of course you would. And do you love the way it smells? Mm -hmm. Of course she does. <laughs> the Beard Struggle. It does smell nice. Have to say. Oh, thank you. I didn't work hard on it, and that's because of the product I use. Beard Struggle. <laughs> such a, I'm such a good spokesperson. Fortnite. 
I don't think that goes. Huh? I don't think Fortnite goes. I gotta get this one out. Do of here. not stick this your is, hands. This, in. I know that you always get mad at me, but well, I had to get this. Well, that's because that's how people get back. hurt. Is they're like, ooh. I know. Don't that. do that. I know. You're showing people bad things to do, which are gonna get them hurt. Never stick your hands into a cutting board when somebody is holding your uh, knife, whether it be your knife or anyone else's knife. But I do that way too much. Yeah, in one of these days, you're going to get your finger cut off by somebody. Not you. You'd never do that to me. Not purposely. No one's doing would do that purposely. Are you crazy? I think you got to be a little crazy to be like, oh, there's a moving knife there. So maybe you are a little crazy. I just trust you. Which is the biggest mistake. <laughs> it has nothing to do with trust. <laughs> We're just gonna chop that up all nice. Once again, not looking for perfection here, but I will tell you this. Smell. Why? Oh. One of them. One of them may not be. Tech guy, fix the problem. It smells very fresh. It is very fresh. And if we end up losing the camera for whatever... Oh, no, we got it. Oh, yeah, it did come unplugged. The cable got knocked out. Oh, that'll happen. Oh. Either way, problem solved. Oh, ho, 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 ho. My one pepper's tippy. Stop misbehaving, Peppa. Whoa. And that was even worse. Okay. Whoops. And that's why you don't run. Because you create more problems. All right, we'll fix it. Nothing got damaged. No. No All one right. hurt. No one lost an eye. Everybody's fine. All right. We'll be all right. And nothing got burnt. That's just another minute on those. I'm, let's start organizing here. Do you wait um, for those peppers to soften, or do, are you yeah. just waiting? Yep, in the cheese to melt, which I yeah, like yeah. peppers to have a little bit of a crisp. There, I saw the light. It's back. I like a little bit of crunch to my pepper. If you want your peppers uh, softer, uh, there's actually two different things. And I should have done this in this episode. And of course, I just... Hindsight's always 20, 20 cameras over there. Yes, I, don't I know, look that I know way. what one of the things is. Though. Tell them then. I think. Tell I'm them. Guessing. Olive oil. You brush the peppers with olive oil. You can do that. There is olive oil in the pan. Uh, not exactly what I mentioned, but there's two different ways to actually get the, the peppers varying consistencies. One is you can actually cook the peppers before you stuff them on mm -hmm. the smoker and you can put them on there. Uh, the second thing you can do is in the pan while you're cooking in, add a little bit of water to the bottom of the pan mm. and that will essentially mm -hmm. steam the peppers if they cook they don't know that you're like mm-hmm mm -hmm, i knew that that I makes sense that. that makes sense yeah and you can actually tin foil over the top if you want to speed up that process uh like i said i prefer my pumper <laughs> i'm having a really hard time with peppers it's yes, preppers sir. it's pumpers it's thumpers it's flumpers i'm like a freaking <laughs> walking uh Dr. Seuss freaking book today. Yes, you are. That's all right. Maybe I'm going to have a mild stroke. Stay tuned to find out. You want to grab our plates, dear? We're about ready to plate up here. Yeah, they're right here. They're ready. You're going to put the peppers right here. Plates here? Yep. Give these just a couple more moments. If anybody has any questions, of course, feel free to hop in the chat. Thank you for spending some of your Wednesday with us. Whether you are on YouTube or Twitch, we really do appreciate it. Once again, can't thank our partners enough who work with us, all listed on the bottom there. If you go to our About section on Twitch, our Bio section on YouTube, uh, you will find links to every one of these guys. And if I haven't put them up yet, you will soon find links to every one of these guys. But you can also score some sweet discounts to Con Coolers. And the beard struggle is I am a brand Viking for the beard struggle and uh, field staff for con coolers. And so take advantage of that discount and get yourself some of the best products, whether you could actually put your beard struggle in your con cooler when you're going out into the wild. Oh, I suppose. I mean, dual function. 
it just keeps getting better. All right. We're going to need a little bit more room here. Let's take this guy down here. Let me take that inside. Well, no, not all of it. Just nope. turn it. Yep. There we go. Because I'm going to need skillet. And the peppers are going to go mm -hmm. right on here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll dish up right here. And everyone's okay. going to get fed. And it's going to be delicious. Yay. It's going to be so delicious. And uh, keto friendly. I suppose. Suppose. I'm. You don't have to suppose. Well, I'm not a, on a keto diet, so I wouldn't know exactly. Oh, that's the Kung Coolers link you just put on there. So. Yep, but use the one in my profile. Because that's how you score your discount. Oh, yeah. They're pretty much done. I kind of want to let them go just a little bit more mm -hmm. to get that cheese a little bit more color. Yeah, I would. I think I need just a little longer. So let's kick that up. Pellets are good. One of the other things I love about this is like on game day, we could actually do the whole show. Well, for all into, most of the show, let's say ninety percent of the show, from the couch. Because with the Traeger app, there's a sensor in here. I don't have to get off my butt to adjust the temperature. So people are gonna watch us watching the game. Yeah, but we can't show them the game. They would just yeah. watch us watching the game. Oh, that sounds super exciting. For it people. is super exciting because I get into it. But then, yeah, you can also run a probe into your mm -hmm. meat. It'll show you everything on your phone. And if you're like, eh, you know what? Let's get this done a little quicker. Beer me. It's that simple. Yeah, it is simple. But, you know, I like simple. Is that for luck? Yeah. A little cheese over the shoulder. You never heard of that? It's supposed to be salt. Cheese? Don't have or is any it just salt. anything? It's, it's just anything out here. So anything over your shoulders for luck? Do we have a tiny bowl? Yeah, well, semi-tiny. And I've got this. That'll work. And As promised one. on one of our previous you episodes, that'll work. Maybe? That'll do. We are going to be using, this is what I want, zoom out, the fabled drizzle spoon. Look at that. Behold the power of what is the drizzle spoon. All right. So we'll be using that to finish with our garnish. Nice. Just waiting for the cheese to finish up here. Everything's pretty much done. I am super hungry. I cannot super wait to start eating. Thank you for bearing with us because, like I said, things are done when, when they're done. When they're done. When they're ready. Yeah. Yeah, and the dogs have been waiting patiently and are watching us through the door. Both, both of our dogs. Both <laughs> of our dogs. Actually, speaking of that, since you're wearing the shirt, we haven't announced it yet, but yeah, do you want to show them? Uh, I really could. I take off my warm vest. Actually, Parker, can I get a close-up here? Yeah. You're fine. Oh, yeah, just turn around. Oh, there we go. And then I will help you out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Paws. We have proudly partnered with Paws. Paws is an apparel company. They do amazing work. They make really cool shirts and hats and accessories and hoodies and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and being that I am a runway model, it only seemed natural that we work with Paws. Wait. That's not why we work with Paws, is it? No. No. It's not because I'm a runway model. That's other reasons why I'm a runway model. No, the reason we work with Paws is because with every purchase that you make through Paws, they actually make a donation to a no-kill animal shelter that helps make sure pets aren't euthanized. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just for the sake of space and stuff, they work and they work on supporting no-kill shelters mm -hmm. where animals aren't just euthanized because, well, they've been here too long mm -hmm. or maybe they got a, you know, they're older, they're not good to us anymore. All those reasons that shelters that are pounds and things like that find reason to take our friends away from us. Uh, both of our dogs and our cat, 
who's about the size of a small dog, are all rescues. And rescues, in my opinion, I've worked with pets for a long time, uh, are the best pets that you could ever have. They're so grateful. Yep. So that's why we love Paws, and we've partnered with them. So stay tuned for exciting content coming from us collaborating with Paws as well, because that's coming this week. Oh, boy. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look here. Looking good. Looking real good. Yeah. I think it's time. Okay. I think people have stuck with us long enough. They're like, Let's man, eat. I want to eat some food. Let's pull this stuff out. Grab my glove that I threw over the top of the beast here. The heat of the Traeger feels really nice out here. That's another reason. Traeger love, man. Watch that plate for me. And this handle, of course, babe, very, very hot. Very hot. So, all these goodies that have cooked down, we're going to put those. We're just going to make one pretty plate here real okay. quick before we sign off the air. And then we'll divvy it up and everyone yeah. will eat. So we'll just do one pretty one here for the camera. We're gonna lay down a nice little bed of all those goodies. It's almost like these uh, peppers kind of have uh, spilled their guts all over your plate of flavor. That smells fantastic. Yum, yum, yum. And it'll also help them sit up there. Mm-hmm. We'll put in two. Well, just for the, the camera here. Don't forget the parsley. I'm not going to forget the parsley lady. <laughs> There's a whole reason I chopped it. Okay, so the other thing is, is we're going to add a little sauce. Croy Valley garlic and herb sauce and marinade. Perfect for wild game as well. So if you're a hunter or know a hunter, great gift. Into the drizzle spoon here. I'm going to actually pop that to the main full screen here so you can see all this goodness and of course my drizzle spoon in action Ooh. Ah. Ooh. and with it, the rustic with my plating I like to get a little bit of dots and things around the plate like that just gives it that nice wild wild feel then of course that was a little heavy-handed that's all right from tomato onion topped with mozzarella cheese garlic and herb sauce and marinade gar garnished with just a little bit of parsley there I like parsley so it's probably the, my internal bean that made those go a little bit crazy uh, but that's it there's our first cat wild game Wednesday Delicious. Can't wait to dig into these. Mm -hmm. Super excited. Thank you so much for everyone that joined us. On behalf of Jen and I, thank you, thank you for being here for the first Wild Game Wednesday. We hope to see you back. Of course, Friday night barbecue party. That starts at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time mm -hmm. on Friday nights. And game day Sunday will be at 3 p.m. on Sunday after the main games are done. Come join us and find out how to make an awesome game day treat. Thank you once again to all of our sponsors. And, of course, most importantly, thank you for being here. Because without you, there is none of the other stuff. So thanks so much for that. And have a great night. Good night. Time to eat. It is time to eat. Yum. Yum is Let's right. Let's go. Did I get the pretty plate? These are still Yep, they're good. They're okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, we could put them back in if they need it.